What is going on guys? Welcome back for week six of the GBA, the Global Battle Association. We are up against John, Pokemon, and his New Orleans Pelipers. Uh, I should have moved his logo over a little bit. You can't really see the O behind the GBA logo. That's my bad, uh, but don't worry about it. Uh, you guys see the mons that I think he's going to bring, so I think that's the most important part. Uh, you guys see the six on the left. There's no team builder this week. Uh, because John and I had some weird scheduling issues, so uh, and I had an insane amount of work uh, this week, so I'm gonna choose a participating team. Uh, I'll try to explain the team uh, a little bit. So I'm sub toxic roost discharge Zapdos because it really deals with his team uh, effectively. Uh, specs Zorark, which we're gonna disguise as Lopany for the Cresselia, and um, we have Rapid Spin Fortress Max. Uh, max defense. I have a defensive Sylveon as well. Uh, a Milotic that can take on uh, Deancey relatively well. And uh, cleaner Lopany. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so we do see his team. He brought the Pillaswine and the Tentacruel. What did. And the Jolteon. The Jolteon I had on the screen. Okay. Uh, so no Garchomp. Interesting. And no. Uh, what's the last one that he didn't bring that I have here? Scavalier. Okay. So no Hyper Voice switchins really, other than Tentacruel. Tentacruel is not a bad one. Uh, where's Tentacruel? Tentacruel is there. We're gonna move Tentacruel over. And Pillaswine, I believe I put in place of Garchomp already. So yeah, that's good. Alright, so looking at this team, um, I'm never gonna lead with Fortress because Deancey is too obvious of a lead. Um, and, like, he's not gonna lead with Deancey, essentially. So I'm gonna lead off with Zapdos. Uh, I could also lead with Sylveon. Sylveon's not bad. I could just get up a wish on his, uh, Jolteon. I think he's gonna lead off with Jolteon. I really do. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to lead with Sylveon. Sylveon covers a lot of his team really well. We are Calm Mind, uh, so I'm going to do that. And i got to make sure to put Lopany as the last slot, uh, so as to disguise Zoroark as Lopany. And that's good. There we go. All right, so let's get into this. <sighs> Week 6. All right, uh, we need to pick up a win, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, we need to pick up a win. There's just there's no two ways around it. If we don't win here, we're not making playoffs. I can guarantee you that. However, if I beat John, Mono, and Tom, being that they're all three and two after week five, uh, there's actually a pretty decent shot uh, at making playoffs because I could end up third in my division and still make playoffs. So he's going to lead off with Usain Jolt. That is going to be, of course, the Jolteon. And um, I'm actually probably just going to get up a wish here. And um, yeah, let's go for the wish. Let's set one up immediately. And then if he goes into his uh, Tentacruel, he's going to go for Protect as I throw up a wish. So that's actually quite nice for me. Because um, now what I can do is I can throw up a Calm Mind. He's, uh, okay, so he's Quick Feet. That's interesting. So he wants to be faster than my Lop, I guess. Which makes sense. Uh, I think he went for Protect maybe for the Zorark Scout, like Scarf Zorark. Uh, I'm going to go for... I don't have a Taunt Pass on this thing. So there's no point in trying to baton pass. Uh, I'm going to just go for a Hyper Voice. Uh, get one off on something on his team. He's going to go for the Volt Switch. Now that we know this thing isn't um, Volt Absorb, uh, that's actually really nice for us. Because that means that I can spam Discharge. Other than his Pillaswine, but I can get a Toxic off on that. So that's fine. Tentacruel is probably coming in here. Uh, probably, no, not probably for sure coming in here. <laughs> so let's see what we can do about that. Um... Not sure what I'd go into on Tentacruel. Maybe Zapdos. Uh, I don't want my... Well, actually, mm, I don't know. It depends on if he has knockoff or not. I think I need to scout for that by clicking, clicking Protect myself. But he knows that I went for an attack this turn. He didn't see Protect. He knows that I clicked something probably offensive. So he can go into something like Pillaswine. He can go into... I know Pillaswine doesn't get knockoff from having used it in the D-League. So I can switch in my Milotic my quite safely. I am Flame Orb again this week, uh, because that uh, takes care of Deancey, physical and special. So in comes the Tentacruel, obviously. Uh, we're going to go for the Hyper Voice. And uh, he's probably got T-Spikes, is what I'm thinking. That did actually a good amount of damage. Where's my HP bar? He doesn't have leftovers, does he? Oh, he does, but he's slower than me? Huh, interesting. Okay, <laughs> so that's uh, that's quite the revelation, that he is slower than me. Um, so I think Calm Mind Sylveon can actually just win this game, um, unless he has Haze on his Tentacruel. I just need to weaken the Tentacruel, essentially. So I'm going to switch directly into my Zapdos, 
Now, I do risk the knockoff here, which could be problematic later in the game, uh, but knowing that his Jolteon doesn't have Volt Absorb makes it so much easier to deal with, guys. So much easier. Like, I expected Specs. I really did expect Specs. So I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining. <laughs> so he took uh, 20 from that Hyper Voice. Let me calc that damage. Hold on. Uh, Tentacruel from Nui. How much do you do to Geico Jake usually? I don't think you're supposed to do that much. That's weird. Uh, oh, singles? Okay. So he's gonna go into his Pillow Swine. That's a good play. Um, now I'm only running Spikes. I'm not running Stealth Rocks. That's actually uh, quite interesting. Uh, is that I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to... Uh, I needed the extra move slot essentially. So you guys are going to see why on Fortress. Oh yeah, by the way, we have Fortress now. <laughs> also named Alphonse, uh, which I think I might just go into, honestly. And just go for a uh, for a rapid spin. Yeah, so John makes a nice double into his Pillow Swine, covering my Zapdos, which is really good. As we're just going to get in our uh, Fortress. He would have to make another really good double here. Uh, but he just goes for Stealth Rock, so that's fine. As uh, I can get off a rapid spin quite easily. Um, and he should know that. But I'm going to go for it anyway, because I don't want the rocks up. I do not want these rocks up. And uh, Gyro Ball does do a good amount to this thing. Does like, uh, I think 30-ish. So I don't think he's going to stay in here. Pillow Swine. Uh, so let's give it max HP. EV Light with no defensive investment versus my Fortress. Uh, Gyro Ball does 17 to 21. Never mind. <laughs> it does no damage. He's going to switch out. He's going to go into his Birdman. This is going to be the Tornadus. Uh, and now, I'm assuming he's going to U-turn on this following turn. Uh, I can't really risk uh, my Fortress just yet. He has Rocky Helmet on his uh, Tornadus. That is interesting. Okay. All right. So, Rocky Helmet it is. Uh, Zapdos is my switch into this. Uh, and that's exactly what we're going to go into. Um, if he goes for knockoff, that's fine. I can sub on the following turn. And uh, then deal with his Pillow Swine in a multitude of ways. So I still have my leftovers, that's the most important part on my fortress. As we are going to get in Zapdos again, and he is going to go for the U-turn. We do have static, we're not pressure, so we have a chance to paralyze this thing. Does it proc? Yes! Alright, we get the static off on the Torn. Incredible, alright. Good stuff, that's why I ran it, was for Torn. So he's probably going to bring in his Deante now, because it's the biggest threat to my Zapdos. Um, Pillow Swine I'll probably just click Toxic on, and then I might sub on it a couple of times. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. Mega Coral, yeah, the Mega Coral. <laughs> All right. So in comes the Deancey. We're gonna get some leftovers recovery. We're gonna go back up to full, and um, I have sub and discharge on this thing for the Deancey. So having his uh, his torn paralyzed right now is really really nice. Uh, I'm gonna go into my check to this being um, my Lotic. My Lotic can take hits from Mega Deancey, and we are Flame Orb, so I can take Diamond Storm into Diamond Storm as well. So uh, Sharpen would be interesting. <laughs> that could be an interesting set. I've seen that recently, actually, uh, in another league. So, so far, so good. We've only taken about, what, like, 12%? Um, to be exact, 10%. We've taken 10% this whole game uh, from for on Fortress. Uh, because we hit the Rocky Helmet, and then we took, uh, we took back 6%. So, yeah, we should be at uh, 90 right now. So... That's good. Uh, we are going to get out of here, obviously, when we're going to go into my Lotic. Uh, if he doubles into his Jolteon, that's fine. It's taking burn damage. I don't care about that. Um, and I'm looking more and more at his team, and Sylveon honestly wins. Sylveon destroys him. Like, I didn't think that bringing Coal Mine Sylveon would be this effective. All I have to do is get rid of the Tentacruel. That's literally it. And um, I'm assuming he's going to Mega Evolve here. He should. His rocks are on his Pillow Swine, so I don't have to worry about this thing getting up rocks, which would be harder to, to get rid of uh, than Pillow Swines, because I can always switch in Fortress on Pillow Swine. And uh, so we're going to go into Asuna. Let's see what he does. Moonblast is a, is a decent play. He is going to Mega Evolve. And uh, I'm going to take note of uh, the Torn being Rocky Helmet. Tornadus, Rocky Helmet. All right. And he is going to go for the Calm Mind. Okay, so this is a little bit scary. Uh, I do have Haze, though, for this exact situation. So, he's going to get a Spit F, draw, a Spit F boost, as well as, a, as well as a boost in his defense. So now I'm just going to see how much Deancey Mega, with a little bit of HP investment, 
like 252 let's say for example not 252 <laughs> let's say uh, like 40 for example uh, mega how much do you take from Milotix Scald? Um, where are you, Asuna? Why well, don't I have Asuna on here? Hold on. How much time do I have? 72 seconds. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, team Builder, Milotic, Copy. I might have put it under a different name. That might be why. And Asuna. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's not capitalized. Let's click something else. Let's click Milotic. Uh, Asuna, you're at plus one, plus one, uh, so plus one in spit F. I do 43 to 52, which isn't bad. Lopini can always revenge this, uh, I feel, as long as he doesn't get up a... Yeah, I think I might have to go for Haze, maybe. Uh, if he knocks out my Lodic, it's not the worst, because this is literally only here for this. So yeah, I'm just gonna Scald. He can go for Moonblast if he wants to. Special Attack Drop would suck, because it means that I don't get off a lot of damage on this thing. We are gonna get off a Scald without a Special Attack Drop, that's not bad. We're gonna do about 50, that's good. So he pro oh, we get a burn, okay. Not bad, not bad. So... I am going to allow Ostrona to go down um, and just fire off another Scald, because I can't I can't let this thing get up a rock polish. If I let it get up a rock polish, I'm done for. So, I'll take it. Yeah, this thing's severely weakened. It's not. Uh, it's not going anywhere. It's. Uh, it's not gonna get off uh, what it needs to at this point. It's not gonna be a setup sweeper anymore. I just needed that scald off. Like literally, my logic was only here for the uh, Deancey, and I, I did expect Calm Mind uh, to come. Because it does really well against me. As he is going to go for another Moonblast. That is going to knock me out. He's going to take another round of residual burn damage. He's going to be down to about 38%. Uh, 37, 38-ish. Now, Lopany. Lop. Green. Versus uh, Deancey. Uh, what do I have? I have Power Punch. I have Drain Punch. Drain Punch kills. Uh, my last move is Encore. Return almost does the job from here. Uh, Drain Punch is the safer play, though, so I will go for it. So we'll switch it in. So yeah, his team is, uh, is very heavily damaged by Lopany. I think he might let this go down, because if ever this was Zoroark, and he went into Cress, he puts himself in a horrible position. I'm just gonna get Zapdos off the layout. Uh, no, not Zapdos. Zapdos is still well and alive. Where's my Lodic? There you go. Alright, uh, and then we're going to just put Zorark above my Lodic. That way it's easier to get to. Okay, so, um, I don't care that he's Rocky Helmet. I'm just gonna go for the Drain Punch because I can't risk anything. So we're gonna Mega, we're gonna go for Drain Punch. He's gonna switch out. Uh, he's gonna keep his Burn Deancey and he's gonna go into Birdman. I don't mind, uh, because this thing is paralyzed, right? So, I think he might be physically defensive. He might be. We'll see. It's gonna depend on the on the drain punch damage. So we're gonna bring up Tornadus T. Default set has no HP. Let's see how much this does. Uh, it does 24-ish, which is he's he has HP investment, but he doesn't have a lot. Return does 70 to 83. Uh, how much if I put like let's say 120? So yeah, that's about right for where Drain Punch landed. Uh, if he has about 120 HP. Return does 64 to 76. I'm not going to risk this, obviously. I'm going to go back into Chise. And uh, seeing that he's Calm Mind, uh, Deancey also puts me a little bit more at ease with my Sylveon because he might not be running... Um, he may not be running the... Uh, the Diamond Storm, so I don't need to worry about Moonblast too, too much. I think he's going to go for Power Gem. Should his uh, Deancey come in? That sounds about right. So I'll go into Sylveon. And I'll probably get up a Calm Mind of my own. So Zapdos is obviously a huge, huge problem for his team. As you can see. Uh, I do have Toxic for the Crest. I have uh, Discharge for the Torn and the... Um, and the Tentacruel. Uh, Discharge is going to do a little bit of damage to the Jolteon. And I have Toxic for the Pillow Swine. So as soon as this thing is gone. As soon as this Deancey is out of the way... 
uh, Zapdos becomes amazing. So I am going to go into Nui hard. As good as it does in this game, I know that I need to get rid of Tentacruel, and I know that John's not going to let Tentacruel go down until Sylveon's gone. So we're going to go hard into uh, Sylveon. He's going to go for the Power Gem. That's fine. As uh, That's going to do a nice hefty chunk, honestly. 128 out of 201. How much is that? 128 out of 201. Uh, I was at 63, so he did 37% to me with a Deancey's Max Special Attack, Power Gem. Let's say he's Timid, Power Gem. Where's Power Gem? There we go. Uh, versus Sylveon. I just want to see a spread. Like, right now it doesn't really matter, but still, I'm going to check it out. Um, 31 to 37. Okay, that's, so that could have been a high roll uh, on Timid. Uh, it could also be a mid roll on Modest, so I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to check out uh, Moonblast damage. Uh, if he is Modest, for example, can I take Moonblast into... Yeah, I can. All right, because um, it does 50, and then I get up a Calm Mind. Where am I right now? I'm at about 70. Yeah, I should be okay. So I'm going to go for a Calm Mind, actually, because uh, I don't want him Calm Minding in front of me. He's going to withdraw, so I'm going to get off a Calm Mind here. As he's going to go into Geico Jake. That's nice. Uh, I actually know that I'm faster than this thing because of the leftovers and Black Sludge recovery. Unless Black Sludge always goes after uh, leftovers, which I think I've tested before and I don't think it does. I think they're on the same priority. So he actually gets it first this time. We might be speed tying. We actually might be speed tying. All right. So I'm not too scared of anything from this thing. So I think I'm actually just going to go for a Hyper Voice. If he's poison jab, then he's poison jab. So be it. So now he has to be careful because he can't just make reckless doubles on this thing. That's the thing. This would probably be my best opportunity to get in Zapdos and get up a sub. Considering that his Deancey is so low, it dies to discharge. Uh, his Torn is paralyzed. It's slower than my Zapdos. So it can never you turn out on me if we're both in against each other. Like there's, uh, there's a lot of really good situations with Zapdos now. So I'm going to try to make that happen. Uh, let's hope we don't go, go go to timer because right now I'm on down and I don't like that. So let's see. What is he going to do? Does he have haze? That's what I want to know. It's like against me, I think I would run haze. But I don't know. Okay, he has jab. How much is that going to do? Tentacruel's not too strong. Yeah, that doesn't do a whole lot. So I'm going to get up a, a Hyper Voice right here. It's uh, only going to do about 28-ish percent. Uh, he's going to get some Black Sludge. I'm going to get some Leftovers. And uh, I am going to conserve this thing. First, I'm going to go for uh, Protect, just to get back a little bit more health. And uh, when the Torn comes in, I can Wish. I can wish with this thing, and I can wish on the Cresselia as well. So he did bring Poison Jab. I kind of expected that. So we are going to go for the Protect. Let's see if he goes for a T-Spike here. He goes for... Oh, wow. He brought SD Tentacruel. Huh. Well, that's a little bit annoying. I wonder what you have to hit my Fortress. Hmm. Which I am going to go hard into. Because I need this more than I need Fori. Right? Yeah. So I'm going to go hard into Fortress. Uh, poison Jab is cool. What else are you running, John? What else are you running on this Tentacruel? Tentacruel moves physical. Facade, knockoff. It's not natural gift. I guess it's waterfall. That's not going to do that much to my fortress, honestly. And I can just volt switch out into my Zapdos. He might be super fast, though. That's kind of what I'm worried about. I do have extra sensory on my uh, on my Zoroark specifically for this. We're going to get into Alphonse, uh, which is our fortress, of course. As he's going to go for the waterfall, we're going to see how much this is going to do. Uh, it does a good chunk. Not enough, though. And uh, I'm considering just Volt Switching as opposed to uh, going for the uh, Spike, which I could, but I don't see Spikes doing that much for me. 
So I am indeed just going to go for the Volt. He can Waterfall again. He can try to flinch me. Um, I can bring in my Lopany to try to revenge this thing. As he goes for another Waterfall. We do get off the Volt Switch. So that's going to be nice. Uh, so we're going to leave this thing at about 60 after it's Black Sludge Recovery. Now I just want to see before I go into anything. Um, Tentacruel. Tentacruel. Um, if you're just max HP, right? You're not calm. You're like adamant or some crap. <laughs> or jolly, let's say. Lopany, how much does Lop do? Reen does 67, so that'll kill a max HP variant. Um, I'm just trying to think here. Zoroark, Yato. Dark Pulse does 44 to 52. Extra Sensory does 59 to 70 to a max HP variant. But I don't think he's max HP. Because of Sylveon's damage, Nui, Hyper Voice, did 20 the first time. So he's not max HP. He has a little bit of investment, uh, but very little. So I just want to see Zoroark now. Zoroark, Yato. Uh, Extra Sensory does kill. It does 68 min. To like a 68 HP variant. Um, and I don't really want to let my Lopany take any more damage. However, Return is a two hit KO on his Torn. So I think that might be the correct play. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Reen. Alright, so we're gonna get in Reen. Um, and I'm just gonna return. Yeah, we're just gonna go for a return. I don't care if he brings in Torn, I don't care if he brings in Cress. I really don't care what comes in, honestly. If his Cress comes in, I'll consider either going into Sylveon or Zorark, either or. He's gonna go into Birdman, so this is going to take 50-ish, uh, definitely, from this return. And he's paralyzed, so... Yeah, he takes 50, okay. So this will die to the next one. I'm considering clicking Power Up Punch on his switch to Cress. Um, but I'm just gonna return again. Yeah, I'm just gonna return again. That is a two hit KO, so. That's good. I don't know if you thought I would be Jolly and that I couldn't two hit KO this. I consider Jolly for the, the Jolteon, but there was no point. So obviously Jolteon is a really good revenge killer for this. I doubt he's going to sack it. I really doubt it. It is paralyzed though. He can't double the Jolteon. He can go Crass. I should have considered switching to Zapdos because he's paralyzed, right? So he's not going to U-turn. So it's either he switches or he... Yeah, it's either he... It, well, his only play is to switch. It's either he switches or he sacks this, and by going for an attack that isn't U-turn, I assume. So I could have gotten in Zapdos for free there, but it's okay. It's all right. Is he staying in? Yeah, he is. Nice. Okay, so Torn is gone. Right? It died, right? Okay. <laughs> I got scared there for a second because my HP bar is kind of in the way of the like the very last HP <laughs> So I got I got terrified, uh, but it's okay. Jolteon probably comes in here Now it's not specs. I know I can take a hit with my With my Zapdos so there is that We know he's faster I don't have quick attack or anything like that I could go Sylveon and hard. Now that I know that his, uh, his Tentacruel is an SD set, I think I'm okay with letting Sylveon take the hits. Yeah. That's okay. We'll do that. So as good as Sylveon was, uh, I'm trying to win with, uh, with Zapdos at this point. Zapdos is looking ever better against his team. He's going to go for T-Bolt. How much is that going to do? Going to do a solid amount. And he's free to T-Bolt again if he wants to. As he's gonna get burned there. 
Uh, I'm gonna go for the protect because I don't lose anything and he loses 6% and I don't think he would let me wish He should just attack me for sure Now he'll definitely be able to differentiate between um, Another Thunderbolt is gonna kill me no matter what so I'm just gonna spam protect until it doesn't work anymore <laughs> That's it And then I'm going to go zap and I'm going to sub. Yeah, I don't know why that song cuts off. <laughs> it always does that. So he's going to go for another T-Bolt. That's fine. As uh, obviously he is faster than my Lopini. Uh, but now we're going to get in Zapdos. And now Zapdos is going to do some work. So Sylveon's down. Uh, Sylveon. I've been waiting to get a free switch into Zapdos for like the longest time. So we're going to get into Chise. And uh, I am static, I'm not pressure, obviously. So it's not like I can pressure stall his T-Bolt, so I'm not even gonna count them, honestly. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a... I'm gonna go for a sub. Cause I know this thing is in specs. He's gonna go for Volt Switch, how much is this gonna do? Okay, not too much, good. All right, so what's he going into? The Deancey? Let's see. Go to Cress. Go to Pillow Swine. Go to something that I can Toxic. Lil John, who's this? Okay, this is the Pillow Swine. Alright, so we're gonna get off a sub here. And uh, I'm probably gonna Roost on this turn, because I feel like Icicle Crash won't break my sub. If I do that. Uh, Pillow Swine. Versus Zapdos. Chise. Uh, give me Icicle Crash. Oh no, it's definitely breaking my sub. Um, but I'm still gonna go for a for a toxic. Or do I want to keep health on this thing? I'm gonna roost. I'm gonna roost. If the icicle crashes, there's always the chance to miss. It's 85% accurate. Uh, and then I don't think you need EQ here. Oh, we'll see. I wanted him to go cress. He's going to go for Ice Shard. That is going to break the sub, obviously. Good news is I get off a Roost here. And then I can sub on his Ice Shards. If I want to. Because they don't do that much. They do like, if he's max attack adamant, they do 34 max. So this is fine. Um, I'm going to go for a Toxic. Hopefully he doesn't go to Yancey. Okay, good. Okay, and we connect. Wow. <laughs> what are the odds? Connecting a toxic. What is he going for? Stealth rocks. Okay, good. Good stuff. Alright, so now his pillow swine is poisoned. Alright. Takes a round of poison there. Uh, I'm pretty confident with going into fortress. Uh, even though I'm at 66. Actually, that's a little problematic. Um, I think I'm min speed too, right? Am I min speed? Yeah, I'm min speed. Means he's gonna outspeed me. Does he kill me with an earthquake? Hold on. Fortress, Alphonse, 29 max. Uh, there's a chance he won't even after a crash or a shard. So we'll go into uh, 40. We'll try to get off the spin. Let's see what he does. He goes for crash, okay. So I think I can live this. Depends on if I fall beneath uh, 25%. I think I already am. Yeah. Man, I let everything get really low. Um, He's going to take another round of toxic, which is fine with me. Not being able to get rid of these rocks now is going to be a huge issue. Rapid spin. He's got earthquake. He's going to hit me with an earthquake, obviously. He's got crash as well. So I'm gonna die to that. Um, my lop only has drain punch, but that should be good enough to live whatever hit he goes for. So yeah, we're gonna go to Reen. And we're just gonna drain. Obviously I have no more switch-ins to his Jolteon at all. So Jolteon's dead. Uh, no, not Jolteon, sorry. Uh, Fortress. I wish Jolteon was dead. Yeah, so. Not too much I can do about this. I'm just going to drain. Let's see if he goes Cress. 
Um, mm, it depends. If he lets this take the hit, though. But we'll have to see. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Zapdos can pull it out. Unless he's rest Cress. Uh, but even that, I have Trick on Zoroark. So it's going to come down to these three. We're about halfway through the match. Um, going Tentacruel doesn't help him. I think going Crest is a pretty good play. Crest is a pretty good play. Because then he can freely Moonblast if he wants to. Yeah. Devil Duck, yeah. There it is. So he's trying to preserve a, a differential at this point. We're going to get off the Drain Punch. Which is not going to do anything, obviously. <laughs> um, this thing's pretty bulky, so it's going to give me a decent amount of HP back. Um, he has lefties, so that's good to see. As um, if he's sub, I can still break his sub with two discharges. So I am going to go into Chise. I'm not going to let this go down just yet. Because this is still my best way to revenge his Pillow Swine. So we'll see. I didn't count the crash damage on uh, Fortress, and I probably should have to see what kind of Pillow Swine he is. Just like how much investment he has to see what I can play around with with Zapdos. I wonder if he'll double here. Doubling wouldn't be a bad play. So I'm going to get out of here with Reen. Having two checks to Lopany. Smart. Um. Ah, oh, no. That's worst case scenario. Yeah, I think that loses me the game. He's not gonna let this thing get toxic. That's the thing. He's never gonna let this thing get toxic. No. There's no chance. Um. He brought Toxic on his crest. Interesting. Okay. Um, I guess he figured out the way to wear down to my team. All right, so I'm going to go hard into Yato because I don't have a choice. I have to. Let's see what play he makes. He could sack off his Deancey. That would be, like, the worst-case scenario for me. Little John. Okay, so that is the Pilla Swine. So we're going to get in our Zoroark, which is, of course, um, disguised as Lopany. Or it's not disguised as anything, apparently. Um, <laughs> I could see him going for Ice Shard. I could see him going for Earthquake. How much do I do to this thing with uh, Zoroark, Yato? Dark Pulse does 41 to 49. Uh, I can still win with this, actually, because if I can take a hit from his Jolteon, Jolteon, default set. Uh, Thunderbolt, that's choice specs, take that off. Uh, pff, I take a million. <laughs> Why do I take that much? That's insane. 85 to 100, are you kidding me? Is electric tearing up or something? <laughs> am I missing something? Um, I'm not going to kill Pillowswine either, am I? Pillowswine with uh, 252. Uh, no, I do 37 to 44. Um, I need to U-turn. And I'm assuming he's going to Quake. So I have to go to Zap. We're going to try to get back some differential at this point. That Toxic sucked. Because I could have even Encored him into it. There's the Quake. And I'm assuming he just plays it safe and goes for Crash because he doesn't need to worry about this anymore. So I'm just going to Roost. He's probably not going to Quake. I mean, he could. <laughs> it's not horrible for him to Quake. Um, yeah, it's a good play. It's a good play and that's gonna cleanly knock me out is that a crit yeah <laughs> all right that's fine whatever it's whatever guys 
At this point, this was a bad matchup for me, by the way. This is a, a horrendous matchup for me. Uh, Zapdos is now dead. Goodbye. Um, I have to go into Lopany. And I have to click Power Up Punch. <laughs> There's literally nothing else I can do. I'll get one more kill. We'll make it a 4-0. That's for sure. Wait. Well, maybe. Yeah, we'll go for Power Up Punch. Ah! That's annoying. Yeah, I let everything get way too weakened. Uh, his tentacle being SD was a, a big nuisance. Uh, I probably should have gone Zapdos on the Waterfall, honestly, because I could have roosted it off and then I would scare him out. I wouldn't have let my Fortress take so much damage just to get off a of Volt Switch. Like, yeah, that was probably my worst play. Um, if you guys see any worse plays, let me know <laughs> in the comments. I don't know at this point, man. So he's going to withdraw. He's going to go into his Crest again. He wants to preserve Differential. That's fine. Oh, no, he's going to go into his Deancey. Okay. Well, that's not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to get off the Power Up Punch. So if I was quick attack and I crit the Jolteon, <laughs> theory morning, uh, Mega Deancey's gone. Yeah, all he has to do is go Jolt and he wins. Ah. Uh... Yeah, cause yeah, Quick Feed Jolteon covers even Scarf Zoroark, so he would definitely go into Jolteon here. I feel. You have to. Oh, Double Duck, what's up? Okay. Um, I guess I'll get another kill. Return. Uh, not trying to be mean to John or decrease his chances of getting into playoffs or anything, but you know, <laughs> I gotta go for my best plays. I gotta at least redeem a little bit of differential, not make this the worst season ever. Um. Yeah, so his, uh, his Mega Deancey's gone. Yeah, he's, he's gonna 3 on me. Because Zoroark will get a kill. It will. Yeah. Um, I shouldn't have clicked so fast, because if he's Mono Psychic... Hmm. No, because Jolteon revenges both my remaining Mons regardless. No matter what. So, that was a good bring. An amazing revenge killer on his part. I'm a big fan of John. Uh, I've been watching John for a long time now. And uh, I love his PS Lives. I love his... Uh, I love his draft league content. I love the way that he explains himself, his post comms. Like, if there's anybody that I really like watching post comms from, it's John. So, uh, if you guys haven't checked him out already, definitely go do so. Uh, his link will be in the description down below, of course. Uh, I'm talking like this battle's already over, but it's not. Uh, he's gonna go for sub. Uh, John? <laughs> Bro, I have Encore. <laughs> uh, Encore. That could have just been the worst misplay that he's ever made. Because now I can drain punch him to hell. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stay subbed. Um, don't hit me. All right, we're gonna go for Drain Punch. We're gonna start getting back some health gradually. And if he wants to stay in, cool. Good for him. Yeah, that's fine. If I had Sucker on Zoroark right now, if I had Sucker Punch, if I was Physical Sucker, holy crap, <laughs> I would just straight up win. I wonder if he's going to stay in. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a Drain Punch. Because, I don't know, maybe Jolteon can't knock out Lopany. You know? Maybe. Who knows? Jolteon versus Lop. Green. Thunderbolt does 73 to 86. <laughs> From Specs. Wait. Wait. What? Thunderbolt does 49 to 58? Hold up! If I get back enough health, I can live a hit from Jolteon. He's gonna get out of here. He's gonna go into his Pillow Swine, right? Lil John, yeah. If I get enough health back from this, 
I can potentially still live a hit from Jolteon. And I'll click Drain Punch every single time. Uh, yeah, I think I might be out of range. 58. That's Max Timid, though. He might be modest because he's Quick Feet. 64 max. So Pillow Swine goes down. We do end up getting another kill. Pillow Swine. Man, if I was Quick Attack. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, but then I wouldn't be Drain Punch. Um... Uh, I'm still gonna drain. Maybe he clicks Thunderbolt thinking he can knock me out. No, he clicks Volt Switch. Smart. Um, actually, if I can crit the Tentacruel coming in... Because it's still too healthy. If I can crit it, I can get off two Drain Punches. No, I can get off two Drain Punches regardless. Huh. Look at that. And he's gonna get some Black Sludge recovery. Hmm. Alright. So, salvage some differential. We'll go for uh, another Drain Punch. As we're gonna get another kill. Okay, so Lopini racking up some kills. You know, that's that's always nice. Um, we might be out of range again. <laughs> that would just be hilarious. Um, his... Tentacruel is gone? Where is Tentacruel? Where did I put it? Tentacruel! Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Alright. Um, at this point, Drain Punching doesn't gain me anything, so I'm gonna go for a return. Thunderbolt. Oh my god. I thought we were gonna live. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were gonna live. All right, Zorark, somehow, some way, live this attack, please. <laughs> let him just go for Thunderbolt and let it be good enough. Quick feet was a good bring. Yeah. Because if he didn't have this, he would have lost right there. Because I was plus one. Huh. I don't know, maybe he thinks I'm bulky. He's gonna bolt. For sure. Yeah. Which I, th I think I can live. Nope, I can't live. All right, well, GG, John. Again, guys, go and check him out in the description down below. That was a great game. Uh, we brought it back to a 2-0. I thought it was going to be a 4-0, so at least uh, we reduced the differential a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that SD Tentacruel caught me off guard, definitely. That was a really good bring. Uh, and I expected Poison Jab. I didn't expect SD. That was really nice. But, uh, like I said, go and check him out in the description, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below as usual. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next week. Ciao!